If you can't see yourself through the eyes and ears of your listeners, there's a good chance you determine your level of influence on how you feel rather than on fact. How can we be doing the behavior, saying what we're saying, and we don't know we're doing it? And I think it comes down to the lack of self-awareness because I really believe you can be the smartest leader in your industry if you cannot communicate your knowledge in a way that people can follow you every step of the way, doesn't matter how smart you are. Well, see, you may not be as influential as you think you are. Athletes train religiously. Musicians never stop rehearsing. Why don't more leaders spend time developing the skill of influence? Many of us never find out how other people actually experience us. No one ever tells us. The result is we don't get better at communicating. And I promise when we part ways, you will walk out of this ballroom ultra aware of what works for you, what doesn't work, rather than what you think is happening right now. True influence isn't something you turn on and turn off. Influence, once you learn it, is authentic and consistent. It's about you being the best of you Monday to Monday. There's three key drivers that are needed if you're going to have influence Monday to Monday. You gotta be all in, here's your first. Now isn't it funny how we know that's important? How many of you have someone in your personal life that can't wait to give you feedback? You got it. What do you often hear in response? Great, nice job. And, and we walk around life saying, everyone says I'm great. <laughs> you, you realize that's not feedback, correct? Eighty-one percent of U.S. CEOs hire interpersonal skills over technical skills. The reality for many of us is the influence skills are the ones we're not developing. Yet you and I know that when someone shows you how, that opens up a world of possibilities. Your goal in today's world is to fight for eyeballs. Do not let anyone ever tell you in your meetings or your one-on-one -on -one conversations that this is part of your culture. Connect with people as if they're the most important person in the room. You ever deal with PowerPoint, any material in your hands, you got the big PowerPoint slide, and we love talking to objects? And then suddenly there's this urge that says to you, don't only talk to it, caress it. <laughs> I'm telling you, your listeners are thinking, this is an awkward moment. Do I leave the two of them alone? Ask someone in your personal and your professional life for one week, Tell me when I'm talking, but I'm not looking at you. Every time you look away, because you can look at your slides, you can look at your agenda, you're one-on-one -on -one and you're thinking, well, I don't want to stare. No, you don't want to stare. You can look away when you talk. Don't talk to objects. Make sense? Influence is not about changing who you are and your personality. That, that's you, don't change that. It's about recognizing what already works for you, enhance that, and what's creating distractions through your body language, through your messaging, that you are clueless right now that's even happening. How many of you, how many of you in the last two months, you have been video recorded, you've been audio recorded for professional reasons? <laughs> Start incorporating video, audio, and playbacks. You will make changes so quickly When you start to communicate in a consistent way, in a way that connects and engages your listeners, then you start to build trust in every interaction. If you're building trust, you're building influence. That's when everything begins to change for the better. So here, here's what influence is. Body language and messaging. They need to be consistent Monday to Monday. Because when your personal brand is consistent, you eliminate all doubt in your listener's mind. That's where authenticity starts to be perceived.